I think Linux is great, but it's not for everyone. It pains me to make a video like this, but here are my top 5 reasons not to switch to Linux. Number 1, arguably the most important, is your hardware. Linux often doesn't play well with very new or obscure hardware, and if you're doing things like video editing, gaming, really anything that relies on your graphics card, you'll notice this more. For example, this is my partner's laptop. It has an integrated Radeon graphics chip and a discrete GTX 1650 Ti. This, along with a few other hardware quirks on this laptop, made using Linux on this machine really painful. And after trying Fedora, Mint and Ubuntu, the issues were too numerous to put up with. I ended up having to reinstall Windows. Contrast that with my desktop machine, which has been running Linux for over a year now. I've had a really smooth experience with my Ryzen 7 and RTX 4070 Super. I've had zero weird issues and nothing's broken. I use it happily for gaming and video editing. So before considering a switch to Linux, do a quick Google search of your system's hardware, especially your graphics chip or graphics card, and things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and sound cards. Number two is if you struggle to troubleshoot on Windows. Yes, Windows is actually really annoying sometimes with its cryptic error messages and software that's written so poorly that it just breaks at random. But I'd say that, in general, if you already have a hard time fixing issues that crop up on Windows or don't feel comfortable with your proficiency, Linux probably isn't for you, at least yet. In theory, Linux should be a smooth experience, but in practice it's quite likely that you'll come up against at least a couple of odd quirks that require your attention and troubleshooting skills. And while I'm personally quite good at Linux troubleshooting these days, and now find it easier than resolving issues on Windows, it can be quite a learning curve for new users. I don't say all of this to scare you off, you just need that little bit of extra knowledge and patience. And if you're already out of your depth on Windows, or find yourself asking others for help regularly, Linux might frustrate you even more. Number 3 might surprise you, but we can take comfort in the reliable and consistent service of this video's sponsor, Justway. Justway specialise in CNC machining, sheet metal, 3D printing, injection moulding and urethane casting. So if you've got a project and need something bespoke, Justway have you covered. You can use your own designs or someone else's. Once you've uploaded your files to their website, you'll get an instant quote so you'll know exactly where you stand for your project. It's really easy and more affordable than you might think. Thanks to Justway for sponsoring this video, check them out with the link in the description. Okay, the third reason then. Well, it's that you might get obsessed with tinkering. That might sound really odd, but I feel like some people get to a point in their Linux journey that they become obsessed with constant tinkering, improving, and testing. And while it might be fun to poke around and tweak your operating system to your exact liking, you risk spending more time tinkering than actually just enjoying your computer. I do consider this to be one of Linux's biggest strengths. The sheer amount you can customize it to your exact needs is really cool. But if you're someone who loves experimenting, tweaking and configuring, you might want to consider whether Linux is a good move for your main machine that you depend on. Maybe install Linux on a secondary machine and treat it like a hobby. The next reason is software compatibility. I came up against this for years, and it was the main reason that I didn't switch to Linux 10 years ago. I mentioned earlier that I use my PC for gaming and video editing, and well, this wasn't very doable until fairly recently. Nowadays I happily use DaVinci Resolve for video editing, and enjoy most of my Steam games via Proton from Valve. But you might depend on software that has no viable alternatives for Linux, so make sure that you check whether your important programs run on Linux, or whether there are alternatives. More often than not, I find that you can do basically anything on Linux that you can do on Windows or Mac OS. But not in every case. Sometimes there's just that one piece of software that you can't do without, and it'll stop you from switching to Linux. Number 5 is if Windows just works for you. I'll be honest, I cannot remember the last time that Windows just worked for me. Before switching I experienced constant torment, like updates breaking my machine, programs not working at random, and constant ads and updates that I didn't ask for invading my desktop. Happy might not be the word, but if you do find that using Windows just works for you, as in it lets you do what you need to do, and you're not fussed with what happens behind the scenes, well maybe just stick with it. For me, Linux is worth a bit of extra hassle, but for you it might not be, and you've got to do what's right for you. 
consider whether switching to Linux would improve your experience. I'd argue that it will, in many cases, but I also see the benefit in just keeping what you have, what you know, especially if you don't have any burning reasons to switch over. So I will let you ponder that. That's all for today, I hope this quick video gave you a bit to think about. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.